What's up guys? Check out this new motor I made. I actually made it a while ago and I, I've been testing it. Checking the uh, efficiency. But right now it's just chugging along at, at that. And I uh, checked it with a fluke and it's pretty close to that draw. And the magic behind this is high resistance, air core coils, and very strong magnets. One inch by one inch N42 Neomags off of Amazon. Triggered by a little reed switch, one of those little micro ones. You get like a hundred of them in a pack for like five bucks. And uh, little, little tiny magnets to trigger them. So the coils, I basically, once I printed out the bobbins, I just spun them up on a, a basic, like a hand drill, until they seemed like they were full. And um, they range from anywhere from 23 ohms to 28 ohms. And that's all you need. Each, each set of three are tied to their own transistor. Very simple, but it works. And the transistors, I could have used really small ones, like 2N222s, but I decided to use TIP49s. And it seems to work out really, really well. So 0.83 volts is about the lowest I can go before it stalls. Let's go to 0.8. Trying to stall. As you can see, my rudder is not balanced at all and it's stalled. But if I wanted to, I could take this thing all the way up to uh, 30 volts, probably higher. Check this out. We'll go to 12 volts. This thing is humming. And the torque's just basically in a flywheel motion since uh, there's eight magnets and each magnet is kind of heavy. I, I haven't weighed them, but with eight magnets on the outside of the uh, the rotor, it creates a flywheel, flywheel effect and then uh, once it gets spinning, it's kind of hard to stop the rotor, but it's not impossible. But check out the current draw. Mainly once it gets up to speed, it's not drawing a lot of watts. Let me crank this thing up. 20 volts, 21 volts. And when I touch the transistors, the cool. Let's see what 25 volts does. Ugh. I'm using a lot of force too. I'm trying to stop this thing. Okay, I stopped. Almost stopped it. Check out the wattage, though. Let's just crank it up to the max. I 
think the highest I've seen is five watts. That thing is just chugging along. Not sure what to do with it yet. Oh my god, it's so hard to stop. So all these motors that I'm making, I, I, all they do is spin. I don't have any use for them. So that's the next thing that I'm going to be focusing on. Let me turn this thing down a little bit. So this thing is what I'm working on now. And uh, I tested this, printed it out today. And it's a type of water pump that compresses a fluid as it spins and it shoots out a really nice bit of water. So I'm actually impressed with this prototype. And I'm gonna go take it to the next level and make a bigger version of it. And probably attach it to one of my motors just to see, test the efficiency or whatnot. But there's a, a little secret inside of this. There's a little cam. But I, I'll probably do that in another video. But everybody makes these little pulse motors, but all they do is spin. The idea is make them useful. Since they're so efficient, who knows? They might, it, it might stall if I attach it to a water pump. I don't know. What do you guys think? Please like, share, subscribe. I'm trying to grow. Thanks for watching.